Okay, we're looking at 6.4.3. And first thing that we do is we just expand this. And then, uh, so we just expand this first part here and that's gonna be this part here. And then we just fully expand it um, by adding on that part. So now we have these, this full expansion. And then I noticed that we have an r squared term uh, in two and two of them and we have a t squared term in two of them s squared term in two of them as well so i just wanted everything to be degree one and i thought maybe we would get somewhere especially considering that all of these are degree one so i went ahead and did that and then i noticed that this right here, this RS plus RT, that's going to be uh, B minus ST. So if you look at this one, we want an RS plus RT, right? So what we do is we do B equals RS plus RT plus ST. And we want an RS and an RT. So what we do is we do B minus ST is going to be RS plus RT. And we substitute that in. And luckily that actually took us somewhere because we ended up with a bunch of RSTs. Notice when you multiply this R times this ST, you get an RST. And this T times this RS, another RST, this S times this RT. You get an RST, and I didn't plan that out. I just noticed it. Um, so then a lot of those RSTs cancel out with this uh, RST, these two, this two RST. And then we end up with this right here, and we know that if we just factor out a B with that, we can get a negative A. Um, All right, so factor out a negative from both of them. So negative here, negative here. And then put in an A, or a positive A, and then we're done. We got it.